are from the beautiful Bay State, Massachusetts, um, and you're participating in this year's Labs of Democracy. Your state has done a lot on climate uh, policies. Um, tell us a little bit about um, what Massachusetts is doing and has done to protect the climate. Well, I've got to say that a lot of what we have done, we have replicated from uh, European colleagues that have worked on climate. While there's been a lot of uh, uh, technology that was developed in Massachusetts, uh, over the years it has not been de deployed. Uh, and yet uh, the Europeans, uh, Germany, uh, Denmark, uh, Sweden, uh, so many of the European countries have led on climate. And we've learned a lot from uh, their work their improvements in technology, in, in workforce training, etc. Uh, and we have really taken, taken some of those best practices and actually codified them in state statute. So we would have a legal and binding uh, uh, climate model that would demand from all of us in the legislature and the elected leaders in, in Massachusetts to bring down carbon emissions. And when you look at a, a policy that requires you to bring down climate emissions, then you start looking at pathways to get there that can actually work. And, uh, you know, so that's why we're doing the offshore wind. That's why we're doing so much with solar, with geothermal, uh, with energy efficiency. But there's so, so much we need to do not only in Massachusetts, but in the in the world community, and that's why uh, this forum is is so important uh, to bring leaders from regions of the country together to actually talk about uh, solutions. So, if I understood correctly, um, your state took the courageous decision um, on e-mobility electric cars mm -hmm. um, and, and on combustion engine uh, cars um, not to continue after 2035, is that correct? After 2035, uh, not only in California, it was by executive order, uh, but other places in the world. Uh, France is uh, not moving forward with combustion engines uh, and we decided we wanted to incentivize our citizens to purchase uh, electric vehicles. Uh, the entire uh, U.S. auto manufacturing is already moving to uh, clean energy vehicles, whether they be fuel cell or, or whether they be electric vehicles. And uh, they are moving in that direction very rapidly. Uh, so by the years that we're talking about, they won't be selling any more uh, internal combustion engines, uh, generated cars. Uh, so that's why uh, we have done what we have done uh, thus far. And uh, hopefully it will go as, as planned. We're starting to see much more uh, you know, interest in electric vehicles, getting the charging stations uh, set up. And with the recent action that took place at the federal level, which also incentivizes Americans in general to move quickly to this uh, uh, sustainable revolution in, in auto manufacturing and to support it. Uh, so be, so it's, it would be better for our health. It's just better overall. We will bring down climate emissions significantly in Massachusetts. Uh, transportation emissions are uh, a full 40% of our uh, of our greenhouse gas emissions. So it's really important for us to bring those emission levels down. So what would you say could Germans learn from Americans? Oh, I think we can learn much from each other by looking at our uh, policies and sharing them. I think uh, the policies that we've passed uh, when I've talked to uh, some of my German colleagues in the legislature. 
uh, they were very interested in in some of the uh, specific uh, policies. Uh, wanted to know so much about how the policies, about the how, how you get things done. And uh, we are learning about you know policies as well. And I think that's what's so important about this uh, this uh, forum and the reputation of the Aspen Institute is worldwide uh, and the quality of the programming uh, that is being put forward helps both sides of the Atlantic uh, come together. I'm hoping that uh, as we move forward in, in Massachusetts uh, and throughout the whole Atlantic region of the world, uh, that we were able to be able to create a transatlantic alliance for climate action, where we can do many more meetings like this, where we can share uh, stories and implement climate action that can take place because uh, we don't have the time. We have to work quickly together to solve this greatest problem that we face as a, uh, a world society. Well, thank you so very much. And we would, as Aspen, love to support that idea. Great. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Nice to see you. And thank you very much for the opportunity to be here.